Welcome back to, The Age, of the Storm. In this video, I will explain the basis of Jesus's transfiguration, as described in the New Testament. This event is portrayed in all three synoptic gospels, in very similar ways, and also referenced, in other passages. The story centers around Jesus, ascending a mountain, with three of his disciples, Peter, James and John. While on the mountain, his face begins to shine like the sun, at which point, Moses and Elijah appear next to him, and the voice of God is heard. So, to begin, at no point are we told which mountain this is. The reality is, when mountains are shown to be part of a significant event in the Bible, it is usually referring to the same thing. By looking at the zodiac wheel, we can see the path of ascension for the sun, along the ecliptic, and also the way it descends from here, towards the autumn equinox. This is the mountain which is being portrayed. Jesus, or the sun, climbs this metaphorical mountain to reach its, most high point, in summer. At both the summer and winter solstice, the sun appears to stand still, for a period of three days. This is the reason that Jesus spends three days in the temple, at the, twelfth position, and also the reason for the three-day death in winter. The reason for Peter's inclusion in this event, is because along with his brother Andrew, they represent the two fish of the constellation Pisces. This is why Jesus fed 5,000 with two fish. Peter's presence however, also indicates the location of the planet Jupiter, which in astrology, rules over Pisces. The actions and attributes of many biblical characters, are usually based on the movements and interactions of their ruling planets, and the constellations, of the specific decans. James and John Zebedee, represent the two twins of the constellation Gemini, which at this point, is located at the top of this metaphorical mountain. Next, Moses and Elijah, are said to have appeared next to Jesus, which often causes confusion and speculation, for many people. The reality is that Moses, is one of the main characters who represent the sun, during the age, of Aries the ram. This is why Moses, is often depicted with ram's horns. Some say this is due to a mistranslation of the Hebrew word, keren, which can mean either horns, or light rays. Moses's face is said to have been, shining, upon his return from Mount Sinai, in Exodus 34 29. There are also other Jewish works, such as Ezekiel the Tragedian, which have Moses described in a similar way to Jesus. The appearance of Elijah, is a little more obscure, unless you know what to look for. To explain, John the Baptist represents the constellation Aquila the Eagle, which you can find by following the path of the Milky Way, above the ecliptic, from Scorpius. John is one of the four fixed points of the zodiac, and is often depicted, with an eagle close by. He is also referred to as, the Eagle of Patmos. You'll often see him pointing upwards, indicating the location of Aquila, having raised or ascended, from the ecliptic. As many people know, there are clear and obvious links between John, and Elijah, mentioned in the New Testament. Matthew 11:14 states that John, is Elijah yet to come, meaning, he takes the place of Elijah, in our current astrological age. Looking at the positions of the sun on the zodiac here, along with Aries, and Aquila, you can see the foundation, of this whole event. By overlaying the mountain, and the characters Jesus, Moses and Elijah, this becomes completely clear. In addition, there are clearly many Old Testament events which are significant to the transfiguration. The most notable being with Moses on Mount Sinai, and with Elijah on Mount Horeb. Also, towards the end of the Old Testament, attention is drawn to Moses and the law, and also the return of Elijah. I hope the information in this video has been both interesting, and helpful to you. Please like this video, to show your support, and subscribe to the channel, to see more. Also, I would ask that you share these videos, and leave any relevant comments and questions below. I will do my best to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.